In this video, I'm going to introduce WH questions and WH movement. So what are WH questions? I just used one in the sentence, what? What is a WH word? And we can form a question with it. We can say something like, Cindy ate a pie, and this is a declarative statement. But I can ask two questions from this that are WH questions. I can say, Cindy ate what? And this is called WH in C2 where we just replace the entire dp here with what. This is also known as an echo question because I'm echoing the entire phrase except for the missing piece of information. The other thing I can do is I can form the sentence, what did Cindy eat? In this case, the object of eat is being moved up to the top of the sentence and becoming a WH word. So these are WH questions. But what other WH words are there? Well, there's when. So we can say, when did Marilyn die? And in this case, this is not a DP. We treat this as an adverb phrase because when did Marilyn die? Marilyn died yesterday, which is also an adverb. Who did Shelley love? Well, here's our WH question that we've seen before. Where did Ivan go? Ivan went to the zoo. Where did Ivan go? As we can see here, this usually replaces prepositional phrases. Okay. With that in mind, let's do some trees. Here's this tree for Cindy ate what? Which is an echo question. And here I have some movement, so Cindy is the eater, so Cindy has started in spec VP and moved up to spec TP to get case from T. And then we have V8. And now what about the object? Well, this is an echo question. So really what we do is we just replace whatever we're thinking, like Cindy ate the pie. We're just replacing this with the WH word what. And that's all we do. And then what gets accusative case from the verb. So echo questions are very simple in that they just take up the position of the DP and there's no movement involved at all. Now, the other ones where there's WH movement are a little bit more complicated. So here we have the tree so far. So Cindy starts at spec VP, moves up to spec DP to spec TP to get case. Uh, what starts in the same position as the echo question but now we make use of the CP and the C head. So what's special about the C head? First thing, I'll just write this a little bit bigger on the side. C has a plus Q in it, signaling that it's a question. And it also has a plus WH, signifying that it wants a WH word in spec CP. So what does it do? Well, it searches in the tree for the WH word, and then it pulls it up. So in order for the sentence to be okay, we have to pull WH words up to spec CP. So in this case, we have our new spec CP, which is the DP, which is what, and this is movement from the object position of eat. Now we end up with what did Cindy eat. And of course, we also have did here, which we need for our questions. What Cindy eat isn't okay to say. We need what did Cindy eat. And that was covered before in the do support videos. So this is WH movement. But it gets a little more complicated because we don't have to say something like who did John kiss. We can embed sentences. Who do you think John kissed? Who does Mary think that you believe that John kissed? And in this case, we have something called cyclic movement, where someone was kissed by John. So John kissed someone. And that someone moves up to be, who do, who do you think John kissed? So I can think John kissed Mary, but maybe John didn't kiss Mary, John kissed Sue. 
So these could be different. And then finally it moves up. So these WH words are moving through empty spec CP positions. And if a spec CP position is full, then there cannot be movement. Okay, so let's see this in a tree. And in this case, I have to split it up into two trees because it's just too long to do on one page. And I want you to be able to see the whole thing at once. So here we have some movement that's occurred, which I will do in light blue. So we have the agent of KISS being John moving up to spec DP. I'm not going to write case here. We also have you. So who do you think? You are the thinker. So that has moved up. And now we have this who. And we want who to end up all the way up here in spec CP. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, it's important to note here that who has accusative case. So it does have case and it has a theta roll. So it can't move into positions that give case or theta roll. So where does it go first? The first thing it does is it moves up to spec CP of the embedded clause, which just to show you explicitly where it is, is under this CP. So this is the embedded clause here. So who is going to move up into spec CP in this position? So DP, who? And then we'll leave a trace down in the object. But this CP head C does not pull for a WH word. It also does not pull for a question. But the C head in the matrix clause is looking for that WH word and that question. So it's going to stop here in spec CP, become a trace, and then continue its journey up to satisfy this C head. So now this C head is satisfied and it's okay. The question is why can't we just do it all at once? Well, this CP, which I won't talk too much about, is called a phase. And you can't just move anywhere out of the phase. You can only move out of the phase if you're in the spec CP position. I may talk about this later in future videos, but there is quite a lot of theory to this that we just can't cover in these 10 minute videos. And really what I want to do in these are show you how these constructions look like in the X bar theory. So you can do well on the practical portions of your exams. So that's all the information I have on WH movement. We in next video, we'll talk about relative clauses and how WH words work in there. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them the best that I can.